Pentagon prepared instructions for Ukrainian military on use of U.S. weapons on Russian territory. The Pentagon has prepared special instructions for the Ukrainian military on the use of American weapons on Russian territory. The New York Times reports this. The American newspaper citing sources claims that the Pentagon is preparing instructions for the Ukrainian armed forces containing information about targets that can be attacked with American weapons. It is unknown when these instructions will be sent to Ukraine and other details are also missing. Meanwhile, as the Pentagon itself confirmed, Biden did give Zelensky permission to strike Russian territory with American weapons but only as part of a counter-battery fight. Otherwise, the U.S. position on the use of weapons against Russia has not changed. Washington opposes the use of missiles for these purposes. As Deputy Pentagon spokesperson Sabrina Singh emphasized, as soon as the position changes, the Pentagon will immediately let you know about it. This is our policy and nothing has changed. From the very beginning, we have always said that the security assistance we provide to Ukraine is intended for use within Ukraine. If anything changes, we will of course let you know. Singh told reporters at a briefing. According to some American publications, Biden previously gave secret permission to Kyiv to use American weapons in the Russian regions bordering the Kharkov region. The president recently directed his team to ensure that Ukraine is able to use US-supplied weapons for counter-fire purposes in the Kharkiv region so Ukraine can hit back against Russian forces that are attacking them or preparing to attack them a U.S. official said in a statement issued by the administration, Our policy with respect to prohibiting the use of ATACMS or long-range strikes inside of Russia has not changed. The statement continued, referring to an artillery system provided to Ukraine that has the capability to reach deep inside Russian territory. Russia has warned that it will respond in unspecified ways if the United States shifts policy. Last week, as word of an impending change took place, Russia conducted drills for the forces that move and deploy tactical nuclear weapons in what appeared to be a signal to Washington. Russia has repeatedly played the nuclear card in the 27 months since it invaded Ukraine, mostly notably in October 2022 when it appeared the entire Russian military invasion of Ukraine could collapse. The temporarily occupied Crimea is restless again. On the night of May 30 a series of explosions rang out in Kerch. This is reported by local telegram channels. The occupiers blocked traffic with the illegally built Crimean bridge, but it was later restored. A resident of occupied Kerch told Sespilno in a comment that there were at least six explosions in the city. It's very loud in the city right now. Six to seven explosions of approximately the same force were heard. The windows in the house shook a little, said a resident of Kerch. The main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine attacked occupiers' boats in the temporarily occupied Crimea. We are probably talking about vessels of the KS-701 Tuna type. According to the UP, Citing sources in the special services, the boats were attacked by maritime drones of the Magura V-5 GUR. The attacks took place near the village of Chernomorskoy, Epitoria region. The enemy actively used aviation, small arms and artillery to counter the attack, but to no avail, the source noted. According to SPMI sources, Crimea was attacked with missiles and drones. Two ferries were damaged in the Kerch Strait. According to the Minister of Transport of the Annexed Peninsula, Nikolai Lukashenko, car and railway ferries were damaged by debris from downed missiles. There are no casualties among sailors or civilians. After assessing the damage, the ferry crossing will be resumed, Lukashenko wrote in his telegram channel. Residents of Kerch reported that they heard about 20 explosions in the city at night, writes the Russian telegram channel Astra. The Ukrainian TV channel Suspiln reported, citing a local resident, that six explosions occurred in Kerch. During the attack, traffic on the Crimean bridge was blocked for about an hour. The Russian Ministry of Defense said that at night air defense systems shot down eight Atoms missiles over the Azov Sea and intercepted eight drones over the Black Sea near Crimea.